this is Tyler with TJX Survival. Anyone who's ever edited with two cameras knows the pains of trying to go between those two cameras while keeping the audio synced up in the editing process. Well, if you don't already know about this technique, this is going to blow your mind. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so you got two camera settings, two, two perspectives, right? So one perspective is from one direction, right? One perspective is from another direction. And you want them both to match. So before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm in the assembly. I've got my two different footages from camera A and camera B. So if I go over to editing right here, um, you can't see it on the other screen. I've still got these uh, this editing footage over here. I'm going to grab footage from the first camera, pull it up, push play, okay, and he's talking, and footage from that second camera, and he's talking. So this is super, super simple. It's straight and to the point. You're going to highlight them both. You're going to pick the one that you want the audio first from. So let's say I want the audio from this one because it's obviously closer to the subject or maybe I want the audio from this one because it has a better road mic on it or something. I highlight that first one, push the control button, highlight the second one, yeah, don't copy them. First one, control, second, I right click, go to create multi-camera source sequence, click on it. Now here is where it gets a little bit tricky. You got to make sure your audio is connected or, or checked on. You got to make sure that it's camera one, which is the one you clicked on first. You can grab uh, audio from all cameras so that it grabs from two different audio sources, or you can switch the audio between the first one and the second one. I usually just use the primary audio collection device. I have one Zoom or one Rode mic that I want to be primary. I will click on whichever one sounds best and grab that one. So in this case, it's camera one. I, I, it's going to be under enumerate cameras and everything should look like this. Hit OK. OK, and it's done. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it takes a while. Depends completely on how big your file is. So these two have now been merged into this one. Let me slide this off the screen. I'm going to take the one that we have and it's going to be my media. All right, so I drop it on there. Now I'm still in the uh, editing tab we'll go back to the assembly tab real quick this way you can see that I've got camera one or a and camera B and now I've got a mesh of both cameras and down here is my timeline setting which is this guy right here going back to editing because I like to work there a little easier what you need is this little button right here toggle multi-camera view if it's not there hit your plus sign find it in here click OK I'm not gonna click on it or it will remove it so I'm gonna hit cancel um, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna play now I hit my multi-camera sequence now what's happening here is the first camera was not running and the second camera was so as the timeline progresses you will see the first camera turn on so I had one camera that was turned on and right now you can't hear any audio and as he cruises along he was kinda doing some napping there that second one turns on and now you can choose which camera that you want to look at this is the output so this thing on the right is your final product let's say you're going along and now I want to switch cameras well, that's him clapping for me so that I can sync I like to always clap three times go clap 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 because that helps there's one there's two that's good enough <laughs> that helps the audio to sync sometimes it won't catch the one clap and uh, you need to collect audio from both cameras with good clapping so oftentimes I'll put two cameras right next to each other give it three loud claps and that 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 makes it sync automatically okay back to the editing portion you're cruising along you want to change your perspective you just click on it and you've already done your perspective change you like that it looks for a minute and we're gonna go back to the other camera and we go back he's looking down you want to get him looking down and then go back to a wide angle again and let's just hit stop you can see when I hit stop, it created all of those edits. So now if I take it out of the multi-camera uh, view setting and see what it looks like, I'm going to start it over, 
make this guy big. And here's the edit we just created in just a few seconds. He's clicking, switches the camera view. He looks around the area, he's looking down. I wanna zoom in on him while he's looking down. This is all the edit that we made. Okay, the tilt the key is what I use to make this screen big and small. Just know that. So all you gotta do from here on out is hit your multi-cam uh, source. Wow, I can say that right. Toggle multi-camera view button. Hit play. As you're going along, you click from one to the other as you wanna do it. Okay, when you hit stop, all of those effects will take it, all of those will take effect. If you if you if you messed it up, let's all you have to do is slide it this far, right? And slide this one that far. And that's like a resetting. Super simple. Now it goes from camera one to camera two. Let's say you wanted to change this to completely erase it. Just highlight it, click on the other one, and it made it as if it was never there. There's cuts, but they're not gonna jump between cameras. Or I can even switch it. Uh, let's show you how this works. It goes from the first camera, keeps going to the first camera. So let's say I want to change this little setting to the second camera, right? It goes second camera, flips the first camera, goes through that cut. It's so fast and so easy that it's mind boggling. Just click on the screen. All right, I hope this was valuable to you. It blew my mind when I first learned this. It was so much faster than trying to make all these little cuts with two uh, overlapping camera views and slide them into themselves. I did this for like two years before I knew I could do this. So I, I hope this speeds you up because it's all about spending time in the outdoors. It's not about spending all of your time editing. Um, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments section. I'm going to be doing a little more of these this week. I'm going to try to do the stuff that will speed up your editing processes. Um, if this is valuable to you, hit the subscribe button. I've got some uh, projects that are coming up in the future. And thank you for watching TJAC Survive.